Do you feel like you need a calculator, a chemistry book, or an actual spoon to fertilize your lawn? Us normal homeowners do not need an overcomplicated process to feed our grass. Stick around and find out how you can throw away the spoon and get great results without burning all your time or money. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Mike's Home and Garden. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about lawn care, boost your curb appeal, and do other DIY projects, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out. Now, before we get started, my channel has grown a lot lately, so thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel recently. Seeing the increased traffic and talking to each and every one of you down in the comments of my videos really motivates me to ensure that the camera is with me every time I'm out in the lawn. I have a lot of great new content coming up that I'm working on, everything from how to control bugs in the lawn, lawn fungus, and even how to handle a stressed out lawn come summertime. So I really look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the comments on all of my future videos. You would never guess seeing the sun behind me, but today is actually a really stormy day. I'm actually in between rain clouds filming this, but it's a conversation I really wanted to have with you. Here where I'm at, May has been a really wet month and spring is going by faster than anticipated, but it's not too late to ensure you have a solid fertilizer plan for your lawn for the rest of the year. So today I want to talk about what I meant in the introduction by spoon feeding your lawn. Plus, go over two simple plans that you can implement in your lawn to have an easy, repeatable fertilizer schedule through the whole year. One of those plans is really simple, and the second one has a little bit more complication to it, but it's still not too bad. As always, I put timestamps down in the description so you can move around the video to the information that you need. I encourage you, though, to stay all the way to the end so you don't miss out on anything. As I mentioned in the intro, it can feel like you need a lot of knowledge and a lot of prep work to fertilize your lawn. Terms like spoon feeding come up often when we're getting into the technical aspects of fertilizing. Places like golf courses and baseball fields, they need that technical detail to ensure that the playing surfaces are the best they can be. But as an average homeowner with our lawns, we don't really need to get that technical with fertilizing schedules. The reality is to have a great looking lawn, you don't need to calculate weekly application rates and get into all the different complicated products that are out on the market. As good as they are, they can be costly, confusing, and very time consuming. Now if this hobby, working in your lawn, brings you to that level and you want to get into that detail, I encourage you to go for it. If you have the time and resources to do so, it can be very fun and rewarding to literally have a golf course in your front lawn. However, I can tell you from experience that level of detail is not required to have one of the best looking lawns on the block. So let's put down the chemistry book, stop thinking you need a second mortgage to finance this hobby, and talk about some simple ways you can approach fertilizers so your lawn can look great. Now before we get into the plans that I recommend, there's one other plan out there that people talk about that I do not recommend and that's what I would call the set it and forget it plan. That's simply putting one bag of fertilizer down one time a year and forgetting about it. This would be the absolute minimum in terms of effort and the results will reflect that. You will not have that great of a looking lawn. You're on YouTube watching lawn videos. My guess is you want to start taking control of your lawn or pick up some extra tips for an existing hobby. Don't just put fertilizer down one or two times a year. You're not going to be happy with the results. If you want to see great results with what I would say is the least amount of effort possible, you need to fertilize at least three times a year. Grab a bag of seasonal fertilizer for spring, summer, and fall from your big box store and apply that fertilizer around the mid-year holidays. As a reminder, the mid-year holidays are Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. These holidays are about two months apart from each other, so there's consistency for the fertilizer application, and it's really easy to remember because generally there's a three-day weekend that surrounds each of these holidays. Now keep in mind, I'm just talking about fertilizer here. Pre-emergent or any type of bug control or fungus treatment, do not apply to this. That's for a different video. Now there's one more way that I would recommend you fertilize your lawn, it's the way I personally do it. But before we do, if you're a lawn DIY or working to have a great looking lawn this year, hit that like button and drop a comment down below and tell me what is your favorite fertilizer brand to use on your lawn. Okay, now it's time for my plan. Personally, I like to feel like I'm doing a little more in the lawn than just a few times a year putting fertilizer down. Family and work responsibilities can still easily be balanced while still feeling like I'm moving forward and achieving goals with this hobby taking care of the lawn. The financial impact is no different than the three time a year plan that I just talked about and most importantly the results have been great for me. What I like to do is fertilize one time per month. 
All I do is pick one weekend a month throughout the whole growing season of the year. Now for me in my location, that is May, June, July, August, and September. Those are the growing months for me. So one time per month during that time, I put down fertilizer. Now for application rate, what do I use? Remember I said earlier in the video that those three holidays were about two months apart from each other? So I simply take the bag rate and half it and apply that once per month. This is nowhere near the complicated level that we see in some instances, like spoon feeding lawns, but it gives me a little bit more control and feels like I have a little bit more time putting into this hobby. So every two months I'm applying the full bag rate of fertilizer. I'm just having it and doing it once per month. So the three time a year plan and the once per month plan at the end of the year equal the same amount of fertilizer used in the lawn. It may seem like a little bit extra work, but that's the point of the hobby is to have a little bit more time in the lawn without overcomplicating it. And as you can see, the results speak for themselves. My lawn has been looking great for the past couple years. One of the two plans I discussed today, whether you're doing once a month or the three times a year, is going to give you that time and the results needed so you can have a great lawn to be out in to enjoy. Now, if you're new to lawn care or just getting back into it, check out the video on your screen now. It's going to give you four easy tips to take care of your lawn as we're going from spring into summer. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you on the next video.